Two East Valley schools are offering counseling to students and staff after a teacher dies of complications of the H1N1 virus. Reporter Christy Post found students surprised and saddened by the news. Students at Higley High say Gail Stapleton was always a happy person. It shocked me at first and I was a little sad because, well, Higley lost a really nice person that it wasn't fair for her to just go away like that. The 51 year old taught English at Higley and Williamsfield High School. She passed away Friday due in part to an epidemic everyone is working to avoid. The family has expressed to us that she had gone into the hospital for uh, asthma complications and then that had um, somehow elevated into um, swine flu. After Gail Stapleton left September 30th, Students say October was one of the sickest months. I remember one day of school I was absent and then the next day I came back and everybody was like, dude, at least a third of the school was gone yesterday. They were thinking about canceling. Max Kramer contracted the swine flu in October and was shocked to hear Miss Stapleton had it as well. I just had weird like aches on my skin and stuff like that. Kind of felt like it's kind of like a sunburn almost. It was weird. And then I had a high temperature of 104. As we normally sanitize and clean and we have sprayers and we clean water fountains and we have hand sanitizer all over the place, so we're not, we're not changing any procedure. We've been kind of tuned into this since we've had other health issues. Higley High School remains cautious of the swine flu, but will continue to operate normally, while at the same time remembering a kind and respected teacher. In Gilbert, Christy Post, Cronkite News.